it took me weeks but we're finally here i'm gonna be doing a review of this mommy cozy bottle washer that i promised you guys weeks ago i figure i'll give it a couple weeks trial i can get the tip and tricks and like find my way out with the machines a little bit because although it is easy to use it needs a little bit of testing period so i want to just start saying that i got this machine through amazon i had a baby registry with them when i was pregnant with the baby shower and everything so when i went to their website it was sold out i would see amazon will have it on and off and it would immediately sold out again so what i did was add it to my baby registry the moment it was available i just take that 15 percent within my baby registry even though i am two months postpartum now it still works that's what i love about amazon and i got the 15 percent and i pay i think 299 and that was it i got the machine and it has been great i have not touched one single baby bottle this whole silicone brush you guys i'm telling you you do not need it i bought a lot of things recommended by mommy on tiktok and instagram rechargeable swirl and everything now i don't have a need for it i'm gonna list a lot of this stuff on makari probably and i'm gonna link it below so if you're interested you have a need for it you can buy it from my link so you can see my kitchen is really small i have a little like baby washing area spread out throughout my entire kitchen and i honestly been keeping this little section here just because i don't know if i'm gonna use it and honestly for the past three weeks to almost like a month now i have not find myself having to hand wash anything at all because this machine right here i'm gonna run through it to you how i use it what the quick start guy is like what is my tip and tricks because honestly you can just get a quick bottle wash or a pacifier wash or a pacifier dry and sterilizer within like 15 minutes and that is so quick because as you all know feeding baby it's like 30 to an hour like they just sit there forever so 19 minute is like nothing last video on my open box if you haven't watched that open box video i'll link it up here so you can watch it i discuss in there why did i chose this mom cozy version in comparison to the baby bressa sorry we, we, we do not you know on par with our dishes and that's why i need this so much because when we're too busy enjoying our life not doing our dishes along with the baby bottle it clutter ups in this section also my kitchen is so small i'm gonna show you guys real quick right now how small my kitchen is that's my stove that's my fridge that's my kitchen sink and then that's it when we are busy it does get like clutter up in here and it's just driving us both of us absolutely insane got comments from the last open box video you guys were asking about like how do you use pump parts and beside bottle caps and all kinds of things that a baby is using nowadays now my baby is only she's going to be three months in two weeks that means it's going to be a lot of baby bottle we use the philip events last bottle they look like this I haven't transferred to an eight or like a 10 ounce yet but definitely these will fit nonetheless i squish in baby bottle and then i squish in breast shields pacifier all kinds of pump part all in once but i'm gonna walk it on with you guys how did i use it a couple of things that i did learn i think it absolutely worth the 299 every penny of it it has saved me time i usually would just be washing bottles and bottles everybody goes to sleep and i would be out here pumping and washing bottles like cinderella but now i can just go to bed saving some time with baby sleep i go to sleep and it's great so highly recommend it if you're a tired mom because i know i'm tired and i'm lazy and anytime i can get with my fiance my baby and sleep i'm down for it and by the way, we have a little Yorkie, my little dog, get a little time with him too. So if you have more questions, put it in the comment below, continue to do a follow up, but you guys are in the brink of buying this thing. Hope this video was helpful. You know what else you need from me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. If you just press this long pressed, it will shut off. The first time I've used this and I was like, okay, why is it not turning? The trick is long press, it will turn on, Long press again, it will turn off.
And I honestly just use these instructions and I haven't really find myself with a manual or anything is super quick to use. Um, once you kind of read the manual a little bit and you get a hang of it. So you have the no water drying steam fresh air. It would just clean basically it just rinse everything off and it would just clean it really quick and then we'll put it into storage. The storage functionality is kind of annoying. It does not shut off, but I do get it. It just steam, just steams it for you and air dry it and it keeps it fresh. And so your, your stuff is not going to mildew. <clears throat> now the normal functionality will wash for a longer term. You can tell that it came from 19 minutes to 29 minutes. That's very, very quickly. So with normal, it will do wash, it will do steam, it will do dry, and it will do storage. Rabbit, it will do quick wash, dry, and storage. So normal, wash, steam, dry, storage. And then if you want to just do sterilize only, you can hit normal again, and it will just sterilize steam dry and we'll store it for you and then it say with dry and storage only if you need something to dry real quick you can press off the steam and then it will go into storage and storage always just dry so it just assume that storage is dry and storage not just storage alone like i wish it would just say dry and storage you know what i mean Anyway, oh, so my machine's right here. You can see the tubing. There's some dishes in my sink right now. Detach the lid. Open, um, yank this hole, put it in there and probably just hold it and then have it fill all the way up and it just gonna fill up into the, the minimum and maximum is right here. And then that's it. Pull it back. Put the cap back on and even if you don't have the cap back on you guys it still will work probably why they look like that okay so you see in the last video where i did the open box i show you guys these little holes there are four of them tiny little thing so this will hold it in place so the purpose of that is when you run the machine water will come out of this and it just spits it off and that's how it's cleaned well and then this bottle can go in here so boom 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 or nipple so we'll put that they comes with another one of these but i plucked it out because i use these fresh shields so much i wash them all the time so i just kind of angle them and slide them in there i will also angle this one and slide that one in there so notice it comes all the way up here that's why i turn it this way you can turn it the other way but that will definitely hit and that's why this lid is as tall as it is because you can just um, i don't want to show you how to close it yet because i actually will be washing this so i get a detergent tablet when you drop it in make sure that you don't just drop it in because it can hit this bottle this bottle or it can somewhere in between you want to make sure it goes all the way down there you go put this basket on so like for these pump right here milk will get into this part right in here not here so usually i turn it upside down this way to make sure that water gets in same with the pacifier if the parts that i want to clean prioritize the most i will just shove it down there to make sure it gets clean and then same with lid and cabinet is kind of hitting um the lid so i kind of have to maneuver my way in here there you go once it in it it in now i do want to show you that if 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 use this basket this way it would not work you see what i mean now you you might think well the lid is so tall it might work trust me i try any gap so and that's why i turn my basket this way and that's another reason why i love this machine you see i'm like jamming stuff in here but that's fine it still works you see how that still works 
that's fine. All right, so I'm gonna run a normal cycle just because I have a lot of stuff in there and I wanna make sure that it is going to be clean. So I'm gonna put hit start. And just for any case, which I've done before, I've turned it on, right? You might think that, oh my God, what's that noise? You hear this noise? If it does sound like this, you guys, check the tank. I have no water. So if you have no water in the tank, it will look like so. If your start and stop button, it will say no water. Like the communication is quite clear. It will tell you, you got no water, boo-boo. Gotta put water in, so I take it. I take the lids off and I love, 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 love the system here because I am so lazy. Everything goes down to this little drain. So I'm just gonna fill this up into this line right here. And we're off, okay? And you can even run this without the lid, but you know, I close it just for sanitary purposes because it's for baby stuff. All right, so I'm gonna hit play. Play, ha! Starts and it will sound like so. And then if you want to see if it's working, it will drain water down. So you see how it's like slowly draining the water down. And now it starts spray. There you go. Like clockwork, you guys. Now, if you get to this point, you're like, oh my gosh, I have something else. I have like a little pacifier, baby just drop. I want you to hit this button right here. It will immediately stop. You can even open this. You can put whatever you want inside, close it back down, hit start again, and we just start back up. So it actually has been quite a couple hours. I forgot to film, just got busy with everything else, but it is dry. And once it dry, it will blink in fresh air within storage. And then the normal um, light will still comes up, which means it's just kind of tell you that it's been running on normal and it is on storage. This will tell you like where it is right now. And so let's open this to see if it is clean. So once you open this, you will see if you have something that kind of like a cup, you will see that there will be some water and that's not a problem. I just dumped it out, especially pacifier that will happen as well. I just dumped it out and turn it the other way. Same thing with these. I just turn it the other way and check. Everything seems to be quite clean. And then usually I wait for a couple hours because these glass bottle, if you use glass bottle, will be boiling hot to the point where it's like boiling to touch. So I usually wait hours and hours and because these are weird shape, it collects water, dump them out put them back in and then yeah that's pretty much it like these bubble water because I pour from the basket but everything was dry before I did that so I'm gonna put them sometimes I see like water and pacifier and I just squeeze them I know it's not the most sanitized so I wash my hand before I start this video same thing with this one I just squeeze them on the other end Squeeze out all the excess water and then put the lid back on and make sure the wrapper is at in, out front. It is 6.25, putting things away. But you can see, I just wanna show you guys that time I get these patches and that just mean that it didn't really get clean. Sometimes when you get like a weird shape like this, it doesn't wash as well. So something like this, you gotta rinse off it with my finger on the inside back and just use my LV milk catcher I turn it the other way all the ears are gonna come up arise from the bottom up like where the opening to be on the bottom like facing down okay I don't have anything to use so I'm not gonna use the basket I'm gonna put it you don't need to fill in the water so leave that alone i'm just gonna hit long pressed 
on the power if you have run a cycle like a normal cycles of wash sterilize steam and dry and storage it will look like this when you first turn it on but you choose dry and storage only you touch normal off you touch steam off leave only storage and then hit starts and then that should dry and storage it for you right now it just goes to 60 minutes and it's flashing in dry so you kind of always know the cycles that it in it will just tell you the machine is quite smart so i want to quickly show you guys after that um dry in storage that we did see it's completely dry in here and my pump part is also completely dry <laughs> 